Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing a few things. Um, this is me in the future, so completely disregard my outfit today. I'm editing the video upstairs right now, and I notice I don't have an intro, outro, or the sponsor of this video. Stay tuned if you guys want to see us fix and re pretty much pretty much fix up a, a neglected BMW that we literally revived by the end of this video. It's insane, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. And that's why I want to also give a huge special plug to Carly. There again, another sponsor of my video. Huge shout out to Carly. I've always use their product you guys know me for this I always use it I, uh, I use it throughout this video for every car I've ever purchased the first thing I do is a plug in this car reader I check the codes clear the codes drive the car home drive the car wherever see the new codes thing is with Carly guys it doesn't only diagnose it does awesome things like pretty much coding your car you can unlock hidden features which is also my biggest video on the channel you can code in your battery you can reset service intervals you can do pretty much anything you want that a dealer charges hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do like just a stupid battery. If you guys need a new battery, you have to go get it to BMW. You have to code it. It's like, I think it's like two hundred dollars to code a battery or something like that. This you just do it. You pay. It's a one-time fee. You buy the app. You buy the adapter. Honestly, guys, it's worth every single penny. And I've used this more than more than you can ever imagine. You guys always wonder how I'm able to afford my cars. Well, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be able to afford these cars if I didn't have this adapter telling me exactly what the issues are. Otherwise, I'd be taking it out of BMW to get diagnostics all the time. This even tells you like just little, little things like in details. And then you can look up the codes. It's amazing. And honestly, I, I don't really know if I would own a BMW without this thing. And I, I mean, you guys know me. You guys know me. For those of you guys who've been long-term supporters of this channel, you guys know this. Anyways. But yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's jump right into the video. Nick helped me figure out that either if it was the tap, so basically there's a tap, you had to tap into the fuse box. Um, so basically I was playing around with that, got the tap in different, sing different single uh, fuses, and you know, and I completely even unplugged it to where the Navi wasn't even working, and uh, I'm still getting the air. So the air is still on the car, I don't know why I tried clearing the code, it went away for like a couple of turn off and turn it on until I guess the ECU finally caught back up and realized there's something still wrong. So the battery is still discharging. Currently, uh, I have a new battery in here. We w I went down to AutoZone last night and I wanted to test it right before they closed. And they actually told me that the new battery, I mean the old battery, which is the one I took out the other day, is perfectly fine. So uh, apparently when it was in the car, it tested bad. And when it was outside the car, it tested good. So something seriously going on with uh, pretty much, I think the voltage from the rear coming up to the front. Cause I, I jumped up, they tested it from the front, not the rear, because you guys know the rear has all those extra things going on so anyways that saves me about a hundred and I think a hundred and like 50 bucks so I'm gonna go take that battery back luckily I did not try to uh, turn the other one in for a core deposit of 15 bucks I'm super upset if I lost that battery because um, this battery is bigger too so luckily we're gonna throw in the h7 battery I think it was an h7 or h8 so yeah, anyways let me go ahead and swap out the batteries take the other one back because I want my hundred and fifty dollars a lot of money there I can surely use it towards the fan or something else or figuring out what's going on with my car batteries out so that's the new battery screw that battery little small little thing we don't need that no more so we are good to go I'm gonna go ahead and return that battery and that might be honestly the 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 last thing I'm gonna be doing in this video in terms of trying to figure out what's going on with this car I'll try to figure it out more I don't want to keep extending this video it's been like already three or four days you can't figure it out we're gonna keep trying to figure it out but in the meantime I'm just gonna get this video out I don't want this to basically be like too stretched out too long um, so yeah I'm gonna be pretty much a part one of us trying to figure out this issue so far we couldn't it's, it doesn't look like it's a fuse issue it still possibly can be but from what we've told we, we couldn't see that uh, coding issue it's not Carly tried to clear the codes they didn't do that new battery didn't work um, what else did we do we removed the CIC we thought it had something to do with the CIC didn't have anything to do with the CIC so we're trying to figure it out we're still trying to figure it out um, you know how BMWs are very very picky it's approximately 3 30 your boy doesn't like wasted time so my other friend hit me up saying he picked up that one bmw you guys saw a long time ago not a long time but like two or three weeks ago uh basically we went to go check it out it wouldn't start that type of stuff it was 1500 and he got the price down to a thousand he got the pink slip so i was like yo bro that's a great deal he picked it up thousand bucks he's going to his house right now uh that extra battery he's just gonna buy it off me because i went to costco i don't think he's a costco membership so the price is very cheap and it has like four-year warranty on it so i'm just gonna take it to him uh, give it to him. I'll take his old battery, do the core. So he'll get a really cheap battery and uh, it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to go help him out. I'm going to try to help him start up the car. Hopefully we can get this thousand dollar E92 to start up. It's mint. It's absolutely mint. Nothing wrong with it. Aesthetically, it just um, won't start and it has some kind of misfiring issues. So I'm going to make some extra spark plugs, bring, uh, bring my battery, bring my tools, see if I can help him out. Hopefully we get this car started for him. It'll be pretty dope if we can figure this out. But he won't be home for another 40 minutes. And like I said, I don't like wasting 
waste of time. So, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but I went to HMB Mot uh, Motorsports to figure out there's a leak with my car still after the rod bearings. He replaced the gaskets, he did the rod bearings, he did the engine mounts, he uh, pretty much he replaced the drain screw, all that stuff. He drained all the oil and it's still leaking oil from the drain screw. So we're gonna go ahead, figure out if it's the drain screw or maybe a main seal or uh, it's maybe it could be something pretty bad. But I know my um, valve cover gaskets are bad, so we're gonna have to do those ourselves. We can do that. So you guys will be seeing on the channel. But let's just see which kind of uh, gasket is currently leaking heavily because uh, I see leaks everywhere. Let me show you guys where it's at. So yeah, this isn't looking pretty good if you guys ask me. So uh, let's just go underneath the car and figure out what's going on here. All right, guys, it actually doesn't take a brainiac to figure this out. That's just AC, so don't worry about that. But if you guys look right there, that drop right there. Look, directly above it, that's the drain screw right there. So I'm going to jack it up a little more and see if that's it, but I'm 100% sure that's it right there. Bam. All right, yep. Definitely the drain screw. Since my friend is a complete noob with BMWs, <laughs> At least I don't think he has a lot of experience like I do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just bring all our tools. I know for sure we're gonna be needing some swivel sockets. I know we need a spark plug socket. So uh, let's look for that real quick. Honestly, let's just take this entire thing right here. I know we got a compressor tester right here. Never returns his tools. This was something you could, we could have returned to AutoZone, but I knew one day it'll come back in handy. So always keep your tools, guys. So we got a tool right here. This is a spark plug tester. Test this for compression. Um, so pretty much this is gonna help us out a lot because he does have a compression issue from what the, the seller is telling us. So we'll take that. And I believe this is just ignition to see if there's ignition. So we'll take that as well. As far as main tools, I'm pretty sure he has some. He has a bag Genesis. I'm pretty sure he does some of the work himself. I need to get a GoPro set of like right here, guys. Full cockpit. Ooh, looking nice. Further ado, let's head out. Ooh, thank you so much for the seatbelt. It actually works on this side. And uh, let's get over to his house. He's about 15 minutes away. So let's head out. Hopefully we can get this car started and running for him first day. That'd be insane. Clearly he needs some oil and stuff like that, but shouldn't be a major issue. Right, guys i just said what's up to him super chill dude sorry for the autofocus let me see if i can focus in for you guys yeah super chill dude with the m3 um let's just go out head out get some pics before we meet up uh with my friend uh, but yeah super i love meeting other bmw drivers super chill dude his place right now. I'm going to turn off the music real quick. I don't know if he has to see his car. I'm going to try my best to help him get that thing on the road because I he wants to make that his new daily. And at least in the meantime, if I'm not saving my own car, I might as well save another. It's still saving a BMW, you know what I mean? Guys, I just literally missed it because I didn't hear the giant. That thing doesn't have any sound. But bro, look at that, boys. E92. Check it out, guys. From a Genesis to a E92 daily. That's pretty badass. Don't forget about my mom maybe right there. Mm -mm. Oh, congrats. <laughs> that is dusty as hell. Well, at least you guys got the front thing on there. It's crazy, guys. E92 this is going to be pretty hyped. I can't wait. Hopefully, we can get this thing started. Oh, it's like flooded. Damn. Am I able to tell how much you got this thing for? Cool, cool. All right, guys. FYI, pick this up for a grand. Literally a grand. You can't even get this off Cool Park for a grand. <laughs> and the wheels, honestly, it's right now it's pretty dirty, but they're super clean. I actually really like them. Um, and also, you guys can see. <laughs> you guys only knew how much these headlights were. You already know he got a stealing of a good deal, dude. That's crazy. Anyways, we're gonna try to hopefully get this car to run today. That's the goal. It's got the aluminum trim, boys. You're gonna enjoy this car, dude. Oh my, look at the webs. <laughs> Oh my god. All right guys, so you guys just saw me uninstall my battery. I literally just uninstalled it, bro. <laughs> so I'm about to put in the new battery. All right guys, hopefully this will do the trick. 
So yeah, a little bit of backgrounds for those of you guys who don't know anything about it. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we did make a video on it. You checked it out, it was, a, it was a 1500, and then took it down to a grain with the pink. So this is dope. Hopefully, guys, hopefully. I'm super hyped, super psyched. Let's just try to see if we can get this thing started. It'll be super dope, but I'm sure he's gonna be excited if he can. My man. Let's see if that works. Perfect, let's hopefully this thing works for you guys. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better. All right, bro, you wanna start it out? Sure. All right, come here, bro. That's all you. <laughs> Yeah, low tire pressure, that's nothing new. Let me turn off this for a copyright real quick. All right guys, go ahead and clear the code to see what comes back. <laughs> that's insane. That's how long this shit's been sitting for, but you need to put some real gas in here. Yeah. We gotta do an oil change pronto. Yeah, clear, clear. And we gotta get some tire, whatever, air pressure. And honestly, bro, all I think you need is a spark plug, which is crazy. And the windows, uh, when we first got it, wasn't rolling up and down, but it looks like there's a battery issue because it rolling up just fine. Ah, oh, it didn't actually give me the seatbelt on this one, but... Wait, maybe, no maybe, years. maybe it'll give you years. Been there for now. Oh, I didn't give you years either. It's all good. Guys, we are off. It's really exhausting. You hear that? Doesn't, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sound terrible. Doesn't sound it terrible. Doesn't feel too bad either. We're literally cleaning the car as we drive it. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Damn. Is it you feel like it's struggling a little bit? No, I'm not even on it. Oh, really? Guys, look at this. Two E92s. This thing's already running. Already. Let's do this for a quick little spin. Damn, this thing is smooth. It is smooth going forward. It is bogging a little bit at like idle, but it is smooth going forward. Damn. Bro, it's perfect. It is perfect, guys. Honestly, the only thing I'm having an issue with is slight bogging, but I'm 100% sure that's because of spark plugs. Be lightweight painful but uh he might be getting a lip or a bumper soon so don't worry about this what dude he just like went up you're fine dude keep going i feel like this thing's on bags <laughs> this thing right here it looks like it may work but my i already have a headache from trying to work with this But yeah, for the most part, we got everything situated. Um, just putting in the new oil. After that, we're gonna install the new spark plug. It's saying ignition six is misfiring, so we're gonna put a new spark plug there. Um, and yeah, we'll test it out. Hopefully everything is good to go. We're gonna go ahead and remove all these guys. We're gonna go ahead and replace, because we have a misfire in cylinder six, we're gonna take out the spark plug, replace with a new one, and the ignition coil, move it to cylinder one. And uh, hopefully we're gonna have no issues with uh, cylinder six. Hopefully, that's the thing. If we have any issues, we're gonna have to do a compression test and hope you know, it's this the cylinder is not, you know, bad or anything. Uh, from what we saw, the oil didn't have any coolant in there, so it doesn't look like it has a, it's probably a head gasket. Actually, the oil looked really good, right? It did look really good. It looked good. really good. Yeah, and we drove it around, so if anything, it would have mixed up. Actually, let's check if there's even coolant in the car, though. Yeah, I see oil flooding over <laughs> some of these, which isn't good. Well, that just means it's a uh, valve cover. Oh, you get, oh no, that's because, bro, you dumped hella oil. <laughs> no, that, didn't happen. that never happened. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and mess with this one. So pull up on that, remove that little dude, and let's go ahead and replace that spark plug. So we're hoping it's the ignition. I mean, this uh, the ignition coil because the spark plug honestly doesn't look too bad, but it could still be that. So we're not too sure. But uh, we did move the ignition coil from cylinder six to cylinder one, and then uh, we'll just test it. I mean, worst comes to worst, if anything, I think it could just be uh, what me and uh, Devon <laughs> was thinking. Um, it could be the fuel injectors, but that's, I mean, that's probably worst case because the oil looks fine. So let's just go ahead, 
button. I'm not, we're not even gonna button up everything. We're just gonna go ahead and test drive and hopefully everything's good to go. I'm gonna ahead and clear the codes. I'm not gonna start it up till he gets back from the, oh, you're back from the bathroom. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right, guys, so go ahead and start it up. Hopefully there's no difference. You're backing it out, by the way. I was gonna wear my Cowboys hoodie, but <laughs> they're probably taking it out. <laughs> All right, you're backing this out, but I wanna start it up real quick. That actually sounded really healthy. Okay, all right. Sounds good. It can already, it already sounds a whole lot healthier. And it's not shaking. Imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine with just a spark plug was the reason why this car was sitting for eight months. $1,000 car. It's six grand, how you make five grand in one day? <laughs> imagine. Dude, it sounds so good. All right, back this thing up, back it up. Make sure the e-brake's still on the shit. I want to make sure the bumper doesn't rip off. Oh man, look at you out here. All right guys, first drive. Please, no check engine light. No check engine. Please. All right, I'll let you guys know if this is good or bad news. And he has the hoodie on. <laughs> the Cowboys, the Cowboys, right? Yeah, that's the Cowboys. Oh boy. It feels better. Like, I'm not even lying. Dude, no, I, I know. No, I know. I, the car's not even bogging. Yeah. The last time you put in reverse, it was bogging, right? Yeah. So let's try to put in reverse in a little bit. Oh, wait, hold up. Still good. No, I can, dude, I'm feeling it from right here. There's no issues. Like. We're both just anxiously looking at the dash. <laughs> like, just don't pop up. All right, even if the check engine light comes up by now, no matter what, it's not a big deal. Yeah. So you don't need to worry about that. He's definitely going to bed with a big ass smile on his face. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm super happy for you, but that's, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's yeah. awesome. Now we gotta, we have to clean her up. Let's go ahead and install all the spark plugs. Make sure this thing is mint. And then after the spark plugs, uh, we'll just go ahead and wash her up and uh, show you guys how she looks. No cylinder misfire. It, you can tell, it, like as soon as we got in it, it was better. Like. I didn't yeah. want to jinx it, but I said, this car is better. <laughs> Guys, honestly, he was, like, at the whole time, he had a serious face. I'm like, bro, lighten up. It's going to be good. I don't blame you because it's a BMW, yeah. and you really just don't that know what to expect. That was my car, so everything on that, I never know until it's done. Exactly. So anyway, and just install all the spark plugs, because why not? Uh, get this thing freshened up, and then we got to button it up, and then hopefully get her cleaned up, because the rims honestly look good if they're not super dirty, and the whole car will look yeah. 10 times better. They don't know that I got me And they don't say that we are free Living a life where we gon' be Wherever we wanna be, yeah And they don't know that I got me And they don't see that we are free Living a life where we gon' be Wherever we wanna be, yeah We are destined for the greatness You can see, it's looking a million times better We're super happy Super, super. Oh, what the heck, bro? I'm over. That's unfortunate. And I know that I'll be just fine. Every day it seems I just pass on time. Never get a break to sit and recline. But I can't afford to lose my mind. No, no. Guys, that's that's insane. That is absolutely. Deep. You guys know me, I, I'm out here trying to get the best deals, but this dude probably got the best deal I've ever seen in my life. Imagine fixing a car, same day getting it, and he got it for a great deal. So, that's insane. That's, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. That's absolutely insane. First gas fill up, first drive, first everything in all one video. Super, super clean. A little bit of clear coat issues, but you really can't complain considering what the price he got it for. Oh my God, what a beaut. He's getting it in the sunlight so he can take a few shots. It's gonna be pretty sick. That's crazy. All right guys, and you know, I forgot the outro. So 
Um, this is the day after we got back. I'm still amazed that we were able to get the car running and everything. It pretty much it was neglected for over eight months or nine months. It was just sitting down. He said there was a misfire, so he just pretty much threw under the shed eight, nine months, collecting dust, spiders, all that stuff. Um, so it wasn't started for over nine months. We changed the oil, changed the spark. Obviously, he's going to be doing more of the maintenance right now, but he's, he's going down to smog right now, and it's looking really good. No check engine, 30-minute drive, no issues. So, yeah, pretty much, it's insane how he picked up a $1,000 BMW. It's a clean title, and you can automatically flip it for six. Uh, he doesn't know whether he's going to flip it because he honestly intended to buy it as a daily, but seeing how easy it was to fix, he's like, I might actually, you know, make... A financial good decision so it's up to him uh, but regardless hopefully he gets another BMW but I mean yeah I, I think this is pretty much I think that's pretty cool how it, it, we saved the BMW in one video it's like BAM and abandoned BMW for nine months because people don't know what the issues are if you had the Carly adapter you could have just coded uh, checked the code set a misfire cylinder six we knew exactly the issue we fixed the issue and BAM cars back on the road just like that so yeah I think that's pretty awesome that was also a cool little plug I did there. <laughs> so, if you guys want to check out the Carly adapter, link down in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And without further ado, guys, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I want to be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, because I want to have worth.